Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. Falling Titan here. Today, a modern take on the Flieger B-type dial, and this one is from a movie, The Interstellar. I call the watch The Interstellar. Some people call it The Coop. It was worn by Cooper, the father, and it was an amazing film. Hey, um, aren't you supposed to interrupt us right now with some kind of a snarky comment? No, the movie was actually amazing. Oh. The movie was amazing. Mm-hmm. All right. What a rare recurrence. It is our lucky day. All right, so check out the movie, but first, let's check out that watch. I want to start off by thanking Kavar Jewelers, the greatest authorized dealer on the planet for lending this in to the channel. Now, if you want to buy this watch, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code and this exact watch can be yours. Now let's get into it. This is from the Khaki uh, Aviation Line and introducing the Hamilton Pilot Day Date watch. It is a beautiful stunning watch it's unbelievable i stare at this watch and i think wow how is this thing so beautiful look at the way the arabics reflect the light it's just unreal now the case shape it is almost completely brushed so very tool like but it has a lot of flash with very subtle touches. So, completely brushed, except we have this thick, high polished bevel that goes all around the case, dips into the lugs with laser precision. And then we have a very thin bezel that's high polish. There we go. And the bracelet mimics it, the same theme. This watch is very cohesive all brushed except down the shoulders of that mid link. You got the high polish right there. Beautiful design, it's so well thought of. It's just well put together and it's a great cohesive package. Hamilton style wise and design wise, just unbelievable. Let's check out the movement. The movement is the Hamilton H40. Uh, it's based on the ETA 2834-2, 25 joules, 21.6, VPH. Yep, it's been slowed down to increase the power reserve to 80 hours. So, gonna last three days plus, and uh, that's a good thing. And with that lower uh, beat, you're not gonna get that amazing sweep that you might be used to with the medium beats at 28.8, but... You're going to get a little bit more longevity and reliability. So let's check out the measurements. These are my measurements that I got with my calipers. So I got 42.1 diameter. A very nice 12.3 millimeters in thickness, very slightly domed sapphire. See a little distortion right there. Very nice. And the most important, the lug to lug at 48 even. So the wingspan is perfect, under 50. Even though it's a 42 mil, it's very nice. It's gonna wear great on all wrist sizes. Oh man, this thing's so beautiful. Look at that, boom, that's awesome. All right, 20 mil lugs. So usually 42 mil watches have usually a bit bigger for uh, 22. So this one has a more uh, squat look and a bigger taper, but it works well with the watch. No complaints. Some people might even prefer the 20 mil lug width. Now the bracelet, beautiful brushing, and it is all solid milled clasp. Well done, it says Hamilton right in the middle there. Beautiful high polished bevel right here on the clasp. Matching 
the case and the shoulders of the mid links. The design is amazing. Only complaint, only three micro adjusts and no uh, quick, no way to quickly do it. Would love a quick release or adjustment. That would be perfect. And we have the see-through case back. There is a sticker on there, uh, so we can't really see the movement. There it is. You got the Hamilton rotor. This one doesn't have a screw down crown, but it has a hundred meters of water resistance. So you can just wind it like this. And it sounds great, not like the typical ETA 2824. It still has a little bit of that sound, but feels a little bit more refined, a little bit more smooth. I don't know what Hamilton is doing. I feel like they played with this movement a little bit and improved the winding. Because if you have, I don't know, hmm. If you have like a micro brand at home with an ETA in it, wind it and you'll have that, you'll have this, listen. You'll have that kind of chalky sound to the next level. This one, a lot more smooth, not as good as the higher end 28, 92, 93. Now the dial is sunburst black with beautiful applied Arabics and a printed with loom chapter ring or uh, minute markers and a printed inner circle or inner ring with the hours. Very cool that the day is at the top and the date at the bottom. Very good symmetry. Let's check out when the date changes. Let's go. It's going to be an instant change. There it is. Amazing that you see the whole word. And look at that, how the hands become one. The skeletonized hands are very functional in this case. So the hour hand will go over the numbers so you can still see it's two o'clock. Very cool. And then the minute hand has a skeletonization. So when it crosses over the hour hand, it makes one solid blade. <laughs> Look at that. That's epic. Design is amazing on this thing. Very well done. Kind of looks like the minute hand is floating. If you can't see the inner part, very cool. So we have the signed crown with a modern H, not that vintage H, which matches the modern look of this Flieger style watch. And my favorite detail of this watch is those Arabics, how they just disappear. They look uh, serrated, with thin lines of metal, not just a solid piece of uh, steel. They are metal, but there is detail and texture to them. And it's just phenomenal. And I love how it, they can disappear and then reappear. It's so cool. This watch is beautiful. Now, the price. This one can be yours for 1280 USD. So a little bit expensive, but you're getting a quality, well put together, cohesive design and from a brand with history. And if you love Fliegers, you're going to be a fan of this design. It, it's a Flieger with a modern flair to it. Let's check it out next to my Flieger. Sorry guys, let me get the dust. All right, I think I got it. Okay. So this is my Stova and it's a 40 mil and this is a 42. So they're both all dial. The Stova is a type A dial and the Hamilton type B. So that's why I wish this was a 40 mil for my wrist. This thing wears perfect. If this was a 40 with that upgraded ETA, oh man, the watch would be absolute perfection. But I'm very picky and the watch is still perfection. It's a beautiful watch. All right, guys. Damn, look at that. Oh man, beautiful watches. I love it, I love it, I love it. Come on, Hamilton, give me this in 40 mil. But we're gonna see it on the wrist right now. Am I over exaggerating? It's not gonna close well, but there we go. Six and a half inch wrist. 
What do you guys think? Mm hmm. It's gonna. I love the downturn on the lugs. Very nice. Yep, hugs the wrist very well. I like it. Definitely can pull it off. Not too big. But it does have presence. And it is a little flashy, oddly enough. This thing is going to get attention. It's going to catch the light. Now, let's check out the weight. No links removed. All right. Try to get the tag off. There. 169. So it is a hefty piece. You're definitely going to feel it on wrist, but still under the sweet spot of 180. So going to be comfortable. Let's check it out on the time grapher. Okay, there we go. You can hear that lower beat. And we have a strong amplitude of 313 with zero beat error. And uh, plus 11 is the first reading, but we always ignore that first reading. And then we got plus eight. Oh, it went to plus 27. Hmm. Okay, so that was, let's consider that a glitch in the system because it went to eight, 27 and eight. Maybe it's picking up my voice. Let's mute it. Okay, so there we go plus eight again. So we got three eights on the board, 307 amplitude. That's a strong amplitude with no B error. Very little snowflakes. I'm seeing four on the board. So clean movement, no noise. And we're getting 8888 all across the board and we just hit plus seven. So the movement definitely settling down. Oh, plus five seconds a day, but we have just seen a little bit of the error introduced, but it's 0 0.1 milliseconds, basically nothing. All right, so a little bit of snowflakes have now entered into the equation. And we jump to t plus 12 with a little bit of B error. So this movement is new, definitely going to need some breaking in and back down to eight seconds a day. So. But this movement's driving me crazy. Let's give it a little bit more. We're going to go one more round and we're going to call it right here. So we have plus eight on round one, plus eight round two. Remember, we had those four eights earlier. So I think this movement's true number is eight. Yep. Three eights in a row. Let's see. One more eight. And of course, <laughs> it goes to plus two. All right. <laughs> and now zero B error. Okay. All right. So plus seven now. Okay. So this movement definitely jumping around a bit, but it's all uh, pretty good considering that it's still under 10 most of the time. Plus seven, plus seven. We had a lot of plus eights. We even hit a plus two. So good movement. Not the greatest I've seen from ETA, but excellent strong amplitude and zero B error. Definitely a great movement. Okay. 777 seven, seven, all across the board. One more and we're calling it seven. Okay. Let's call this movement plus seven seconds a day and that'll be it. There we go. All right. Here's the loom. Uh, there's the numbers. There's a little bit of light in the background. Oh, I don't even have it up. There's a, there's a triangle at 12. See, so orientation hard to find uh, without, well, I guess. It's the only place without loom. The top part right there. Okay. Let's compare with the Stova. Why not? Definitely wish it had more loom, but then you wouldn't get those beautiful Arabics with the metal serrated look that reflect light. So it is a double edged sword. You get those beautiful indices, applied indices, but you don't get loom on them. Which one would you guys rather have? Uh, the loom or the beautiful metallic Arabics. And just for comparison, I'm wearing the Willard. Hmm. So Hamilton loom isn't always the strongest, but people have been reporting that they see the light still in the night with this. 
even though it's dim. Just hold it really close up to your face. So check this Hamilton out. If you're looking for a modern Flieger, I love this watch. It is so well executed, it has a very positive impression of quality and just feels well put together. It is the total package. Now, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.